Now this breakthrough has tons of amazing use cases. The data is extremely accurate at predicting weather patterns, flash flooding, and even wildfires before they happen. So that's the one that kind of stopped me in my tracks. Um, I don't know exactly how you could use this for predicting things like flash flooding or wildfires yet. To be clear, Google is definitely doing different things uh, around these different areas. They have some different tools um, called FireSat that they launched that's monitoring fires and things like that. They've done different work around you know, flash flooding. They have this thing called Flood Hub. So they are doing stuff like that. But to me, I'm still wondering how I could apply this data, which is annual snapshots, to predict something in very real time. In fact, wildfires are nearly impossible to predict. Um, you know, we know that if there's lightning in an area a, and there's conditions for a wildfire, things being dry or windy or stuff like that, they could start. But to say, we know that this is going to happen here and this data can tell us that, that's tricky. This may help us understand where there's areas that are prone to these different things. But again, we're embedding so much data here that you have to be very specific and figure out how you could pull those things out. So we're still learning how you could use this, but to say it could kind of predict it in real time, I think is a bit of a leap. It's also able to literally see through the clouds to assess potential farmland and soil fertility. Again, not a satellite. This can show images <laughs> through the clouds because it's processed data, but this is not a satellite. This is a data set. But the best part is this data can be used to study unmapped ecosystems like the Amazon rainforest or Antarctica. These aren't unmapped ecosystems. They um, might have less data on Google Maps, but we definitely have data about these different places. So I, I want to be clear again. Um, yes, it can be used to study any point on Earth, and I don't want to diminish the work that this data set did and what it went into it, but we're making some pretty big leaps here uh, in, in those different claims.